All right, so before I can even get the wheels on, I got new lug nuts. So we gotta look pretty, pretty wheels. This is our acorn style, they call it. You can tell because exactly uh, the way this taper is gonna sit right inside. The, can I get the wheel? Is the wheel in there? I'll show you in a minute. I'm gonna move the wheel over. Uh, the next thing is these. I obviously didn't get the metal ones because they're so freaking light right here. But I wanted to get metal ones, but I have those three metal ones upstairs. Two, uh, two are yellow, one is blue. And they don't have the bolt holes, but this will be okay. So these bolt from behind front you know from the front and they go through but it'll be cool maybe hit them with um ceramic coat so they stay this way but yeah, i'm gonna bolt those on i guess that's kind of good because you do you bolt them from the front not the back right yeah before you'd have to take the wheel off so i could just put these on afterwards huh i should check those holes are probably all full of paint or powder coat so here they are, the uh, Nankangs, we said they were, yeah, Nankangs, 275s, 6015s, uh, I did the prep work, so if there's any issues, it's on me, like, I, you know, I could have filled in that before I had a powder coat, but there's going to be trim rings, that's why I had the big valve stems, so that I can get air in the tire something to think of and then we'll put these suckers on see how they look yeah so attention to details what i like so we've got valve stem i want to put the bow tie in line with all of them that should work right so we're not like one's off you know just stupid things once you rotate the wheel and we'll let her line up again anyway but i don't know just details but yeah, as I thought, these holes are, I don't even think they're tapped. I think they're just made to be jammed in there. I'm going to tap them and lock tight them. Yes, upon further inspection, yeah, these were never tapped. So this never had center caps on it. I wonder what these were on. What, what kind of v vehicle, vehicle is this on? That's going to be cool, just black. I do have the uh, trim rings. I thought it would look pretty. I seen another, seen it, seen another truck with black, black silver, black, black silver. That looks nice. Uh, I was only leery about putting these on because they're, you know, they're kind of. I have a decent ones, but that's brand new. This is decent, and then uh, the. They kind of scratch up the rim. So if you ever want to go without them, I don't know. Maybe I'll roll around without them. What do you guys think? I'm going to have to flip this video. It's recording in the wrong direction. I hate these phones. You know, I should be using my GoPro. All right, uh, tap and die set's not here. So we'll conclude this in a minute. But for me, it'll be tomorrow. All right, sun is out. Back to the wheels. All right, valve stem. I want to go bow tie, you know, just trying to do that. Even though all these stickers, this is the only one where it's not falling off. Um, it's not exactly, not exactly square. I feel like the other wheel is square. I don't know. Being very anal here, aren't I? Anyway, that's what's I'm going to do. One, two, three. Those three holes. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to do them from behind. They are a metric. Let's say they were M8Y125. For whatever reason. Well, don't you go worrying about all these wheel weights. Yeah, they did a ton of weight. I don't know why. They put the glue on ones. They put them on the lip with this big gap underneath, so I took some adhesive and re-glued them because those were definitely going to fall off. Um, 
Well, anyway, someday I'll have a tire machine and I just do everything myself. And then it'll be done correctly. <laughs> Back and forth. Usually just go straight down, but back and forth seems to get the crap out of the threads before break a tap. You don't want to break a tap. Then they're done that. Although I did see a trick to get them out recently. It worked pretty well. You take um, if it snaps off, they put fine wire in between these little gaps and then it'll twist right out. That makes sense? I mean every one of them uh, and them are falling off already so gotta redo that. Re-glue those. Uh, I'll probably use this weather strip but his it's little I'll probably use this black super weather strip and gasket adhesive from 3M. Not a sponsor. All right, next step is going to be protecting these. So all this work, paint, cleaning, and all that. Let's spray on some ceramic, that new fancy stuff, to uh, so you don't have to wash them as much. Inside and out, folks. Let's do the back sides because uh, you know, brake dust and all that sticking. So I give them a quick acetone bath, aka brake clean. I got the finest. Yeah, this is cheap shit. It's just some turtle wax ceramic spray coating. Figure I'd try it out. I'm not, before I spend big money on ceramic coating. Um, I hear good things about it though, paint and all that on your car. So give these a quick wipe down and yada yada yada, and then do the center caps as well. You know what? I take that back. Nothing against turtle wax. Make great products for. So as a kid, we always that's what was that was available. Never had an issue, but there's so many names in ceramics now. I don't know. So I'm just going to play ignorant. I don't know. This could be great stuff. So doing insides and outs. Just says to wipe it on. Rotate your microfiber. Man, that's a lot of weight. That's like five ounces there. Three there. <laughs> I don't know what I'd steel wheels are usually supposed to be true. I don't know. Whatever. As long as she don't vibrate. <clears throat> Alright, inside and out. All four. Center caps. There we go. These all got locked tight as well. So bing bing bing. Tighten those up too. Not too tight. Uh yeah, I'm doing just the Phillips too because I was gonna do the socket, but these because it's just plastic, you don't want to over tighten it. <laughs> so as long as I can get this to seat good, yeah, I think quarter turn, seat it, quarter turn. And I'm gonna center that all the bow ties and re-glue them because eBay. Ceramic. Right, now this guy needs a little, little dab. Dab will do you. Stuff sticky. Like even when it's new, it's like this. I don't want too much because this is like thick. I think I should do it actually. I want him somewhat straight, right? Not the idea. Not why I was doing this. You know, it's the details, man. I've seen cars at shows don't have details like this. Let's see if the scratch comes out of this one. Can't tell if it went all the way through or not. Oh no, it didn't get. Shwoo! That's on there. Ceramic-y 
ceramic-y stuff. Good soaking. <clears throat> Why not, right? Too much is never enough. Hope it works. Hope it works as good as what I'm thinking. Any protection would be better than nothing, right? All right, one more. All right, so I think I'm gonna run them this way without the trim rings for now. I don't know, we'll get some before and afters, but technically they're ready to go on, but it's just one more thing to do. I think should be done before getting rid of these tires. It's kind of fitting for this truck with the condition paint. Hmm. Let's throw some chrome trim rings on there, see what that does. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I like that. They're just resting on there, really press them on there. How tough is powder coat? They were telling me you can. If those aren't going to scratch it, but I'm a little leery of these. They're just going to dig in. Yeah, they dig in. They dig in the paint. But yeah, it's it's a toss up. It'd be cool if you could paint that silver. Be, then you don't have to worry. Hmm. The other thing looks good too is if I get the chrome trim for right here the wheel wells i saw a truck that looked really good too so mm -hmm. well it's good to have nice tires now you don't have to worry about flats i wanted to test drive it for that reason in case something was a uh, askew there now put on the back wheels they kind of were tight on the hub uh, they're all torqued to specs. And yeah, she feels pretty good. No vibration. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, way out of balance. Or they're not sitting right. Oh, rally wheels don't fit? What's going on? putting this one on it was super tight on the hub so maybe it was, wasn't seated all the way I just wonder if these go right in the way I just sanded everything down what the heck is that it just got sheared off there was a bolt there what was that for apparently it's hitting something when I turn the wheel Hit the rubber? Where did that go to? Does anyone remember? I certainly don't. <laughs> Brake hose went up there. Oh, is that a rivet? Rivet! <laughs> Alright, don't turn the wheel all the way. Good news, found my grinder. Bad news. This is the only cutting disc I've left, but I think I just gotta get those. That bolt on the other side. Take those off. Ooh. Just a disc to do the other side, maybe. Rub 
building was. But on the other tires and wheels, so it's not that. That drum's a little wonky, but. The other thing I was worried about was drive shaft and pinion angle. And I got a new center bearing, all that. Look at this. Drive shaft is beautiful. Could be out of whack, but you can see the whole wheel. Hmm. 